Alex Marshall, music director for the Department of Theater here at the University of Utah. And today we wanted to show you how we use Piano Scan at Apple's main stage to help set us up for our, some of our performances. Now today I want to talk about our latest performance, the U.S. premiere of The Beautiful Game by Andrew Lloyd Webber, which we produced here in February. And today we're backstage in our shop showing you how we put these things together. So what I have here is our beautiful Boston Grand supplied by Dane's Music, retrofitted with Piano Scan, and I have two Yamaha MOX F8s. Uh, that we use for our other two keyboards. The orchestration for the beautiful game calls for three keyboards, and keyboard one asks for both piano and things like flute and harp. Now, we wanted to have a real beautiful, rich sound for the acoustic piano, so we can use Piano Scan to get that while also using it as a digital controller. So today, I'm going to show you the concert that we've set up with Mainstage. Now, Mainstage is a sister app to Logic Pro, and it's more designed for live performance rather than uh, audio recording and editing. So. We've set up a concert for the beautiful game that uses three pianos. Now, this first one, you can see over here, the MIDI port is attached to MIDI 9 QRS piano scan. So if I play our grand piano, you see that not only do we have sound from the piano, but we also trigger a MIDI keyboard attached to different patches. Over here, my second keyboard. Again, if I play, we trigger the second keyboard. And then over here, this last keyboard, if I play, it triggers this third keyboard on screen. So once we have that set up uh, with our MIDI ports and just adding these keyboards to the layout, I can click edit and you see that down here on the side of our patch list we have different sets. Each set corresponds to a number in the show um, and then we also have our individual patch settings. So as patch changes need to happen during the show we can trigger those uh, to set up different patch arrangements as we go. So this first one, at the top of the show the overture calls for the first piano to be playing um, synth flute. So if I turn on my mute for the piano, you notice that I can play, I don't get any sound out of the piano, yet I'm getting a signal that sends a flute sound to our audio in interface and out to our sound designer. So this can go through the house just like I would use a digital keyboard. Likewise, if I play strings over here, I can get strings out of keyboard two and I can get some pipes out of keyboard three over here. All right. Now, um, what I've also done to make this a little bit easy, easier for us is we've rigged these piano uh, pedals to also be MIDI triggers. So if I tap on one of them, it'll move to the next pass. So I've set it up in my assignments and mappings. If you look here under the MIDI QRS piano scan, I've set my soft pedal, which is uh, trigger number six, MIDI trigger number 67. I've set that up as the action to move to my next patch. If I move too far, I've also set up trigger 66, which is the sostenuto pedal, to move backwards. So as I'm playing along in the show, if I want to go to the next patch set here, I don't need to touch anything on my laptop. I can simply hit the soft pedal, and I'll move to the next patch set again. And as I'm getting to the end of the number, I can go ahead and trigger, and I'll move to the next set list. Likewise, if I move too far, I can hit my sostenuto pedal, and it'll move right back to where I need it to be. That way, I can use my foot to simply control exactly what I want to hear at what time. Now, if we move here to the beautiful game, and, uh, this is song two in the show, you'll see that um, the keyboard one book calls for piano. So I can simply unmute this, and all of a sudden I have the piano as an acoustic piano, which, which is fantastic. Likewise, I've also moved so that I have brass playing over here. And I have a bunch of different uh, trumpets, and I have some strings, and I have some bass and timpani. So that way, I have this set up so as my keyboardists play, all they have to do is play the score. And I, being the conductor from the piano, I control when they play what and what patches we need at what time. Also, I can move back and forth just with the, just with the mute um, to play either acoustic piano or or any patch that we set up. So this makes it streamlined for me as the conductor that I can walk into any production and play exactly what I need to, make it as easy as possible for the musicians, and we sit down and just enjoy great music. Thanks.